It's battery time again. We need to talk about another potential contender for the best budget battery. If you haven't been following my videos on this, I'll put a play link down in the description so you can catch up. But the gist of it is I had a shootout. I compared the best budget battery, well, all of them versus each other, and ended up with a clear winner in the Thunderbolt Edge. But unfortunately, that was 2024, it's 2025, and those batteries are now about 20 cents more per cell. So I started looking for other alternatives. And then great value came along, but unfortunately it ended up dead last on the list. So pending no other options, I've settled in the middle with Members Mark. They give great performance, not the best, but not the least. I mean, they're right in the middle there in the sweet spot, but also they're very affordable. There's only two downsides to Members Mark batteries. Number one is that they only come from Sam's Club. There are only about 600 Sam's Club locations in the United States, so not everybody will have access to these batteries. Number two, they are sold in a 48 pack. Not everyone likes to buy bulk batteries. Sometimes a four pack, a six pack, or an eight pack are enough, but usually that means you pay more per battery until we go to Aldi, a grocery store chain. And in the US, there are around, depending upon where you look, slightly under 2,500 or slightly over 2,500 Aldi stores in the continental United States. That means there are four times the locations there are Sam's Club, meaning you might not have access to this, but there's a four time greater likelihood that you will have access to these. Active Energy Super Alkaline Batteries from Aldi. Not only will they be easier to get the Members Mark batteries for many people, but they come in an eight pack, and this eight pack is only $2.99. That's 37.3 cents a battery. I think these were 37.4 cents a battery. So it's looking good so far. Let's get right into this. Let me move the old batteries out of the way here. Get my testing supplies set off to the side. But first, let's look these over and see what we're getting. Of course, it is an eight pack. These are double A, shows the devices they can be used in. I'm looking for a couple of things here. Imported by Aldi, made in China. So we can see that there. And also I'm noting that this is apparently the date that they were manufactured, 7-2024, or maybe registered. But I noticed this here, the use before date is 7 of 2029. So that's four years away. 7 2024 that would make sense i think this is the manufacture date because if they were manufactured in 7 2024 that would be five years from this date so these don't have as much of a shelf life as the other batteries that i've tested that makes me curious but let me just see if i can get into these and we'll take a look at one of the cells easy to open so there's that so let's get a look here one of these active energy super alkaline batteries of course we can see they're the made in china i like the color scheme and there's our used before 7 2029 so let's look at the top look at the bottom i can't see a color down in there i think i see red maybe down in there that little spacer that's down there okay so this is what we're working with active energy double a batteries Let's get to testing. The exact same testing criteria as last time the Opus Discharger, I will discharge these at 400 milliamp hours, just like all the others. And then I have this with the exact same CD, we'll be putting batteries in here. So let's get four batteries. Try to do this all in one take. And quickly, so you know there's no trickeration here. I wanna know how these perform just like you do because I'm always looking for that budget option. So I've got discharge. Setting the current to 400. We'll let that start while I put the other two batteries in this. Looks like that has already started. Two active energy. I really like that blue and black color. Looks good. So let's start this. Hit play here and then I'll set it on loop. There's the all sign and the loop. So this should be playing. Let's see if I can hear the music. Let me go ahead and max the volume on this. Cause I don't hear anything. There we go. Finally, I've got play. So I have play on this. I have it at max volume and it is on a constant loop. Active energy. Oops, it looks like I paused it. Now it's playing. And just like when I tested these, I'm hoping that they're closer to this end of the spectrum 
Rather than this end, I don't have any expectations because I know nothing about these batteries, but I'm gonna come back in five hours and we'll see where they're at. It's the next day, but I let this sit overnight. It finished oddly fast. Let me just show you the values here. This is what we got discharged per cell and how long it took. If these look low, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll automatically clue in that these are low. I've made it easy for you here. Put it all out on this chart. Each cell discharged the values that it pulled out on the 400 milliamp hour discharge test and 400 milliamp hours. That's a moderately high, not a high, but a moderately high discharge rate about what my Xbox controller pulls out of a battery. This was able to extract 1,301 milliamps average from all these batteries. And how long did that take to extract? A meager three hours and 16 minutes. Even the CD runtime test didn't take a lot. And I'm gonna tell you on that five hours and eight minutes that it shows here, well, that could vary by about four minutes. So I just sort of split the difference. I was listening to a four minute song. I walked out of the room. I came back five minutes later and it had stopped. So I don't know if that was the second after I walked out or the second before I walked back in, but either way, when I stack this up versus all the other batteries that I've tested, you're gonna see right where this falls it's dead last. It's below the great value battery dead last. And I mean below it by, in reference to all the other batteries that I've tested, low by a good bit. I was hoping for members mark or better performance. I got lower than great value battery performance. I wasn't happy with the performance of those. And that makes these, at least for me, not a good battery. Now I have said in the past that every battery on this list is an okay battery. And these, you know, if you're in a pinch and you need a battery, I guess they will work. You're just not going to get as much runtime as the other batteries. And that crushes the value potential in a battery when the runtime is low, even if the price is low, but you're having better batteries that are just a few cents away. That makes these, well, I'm just, I'm disappointed, but I don't like disappointment. I want to end this on a high note. So I started thinking, where would these be a good battery? What would be a good case for these to be a purchase. Here's what I came up with. If you are at Aldi in line at checkout and you just so happen to remember that in all your previous shopping before you made it to Aldi, you forgot to pick up the AA batteries that you left out for that day. In that case, you look over and you see these for $2.99 and you only need up to eight batteries. Well, this might be a good chance to purchase them and that might make them okay. It's not gonna make them great, but it might make them okay, at least in that situation, in that scenario. Otherwise, I can't find a good reason for purchasing these versus any of the other batteries really on my list. But as I mentioned leading into this, my current pick is the Sam's Club members mark, but not everyone has a Sam's Club. There are only 600 of them. That's where I thought Aldi might come into play because there are four times more Aldi stores than there are Sam's Club. But then I started looking at batteries like that e-circuit from Dollar Tree. There are over 8,700 Dollar Trees in the United States. So almost everyone has access to them, at least in the United States. And that Dollar Tree e-circuit battery is $1.25 for four. Now that might be going up because I hear they're gonna go up to $1.50, but at the time I'm making this video, they're $1.25 for four. That makes them cheaper than the active energy, so it's hard for me to justify this, unless, as I mentioned, maybe I'm in line at checkout and I need batteries, I forgot to get them elsewhere, and it's gonna take up my time, because time has value, and that might make these justifiable in that case. Otherwise, they're dead last on the list. Definitely not a battery that I will be shopping for again. Active energy. Not so active after all, now we know. Comment below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching and have a great day.